19-year-old college student Fatima Guerra will be the first to admit she's into some really nerdy stuff. Like, up there, <laughs> nerdy. <laughs> way up there, nerdy, in fact. All the way up into space. Guerra is an astronomer in training, involved since high school with a small project at the Adler Planetarium with big goals. So our main goal was to see if the ozone layer is getting thinner and how, by how much if there's like different parts of the Earth's atmosphere that's getting thinner because of the pollution. A small electronic device called ThinSat gathers the data to shed light on these questions. Designed to orbit the Earth, the device was not developed by highly paid engineers, but by Chicago area students like Guerra. We focused on coding the different parts of like sensors that, that the thin set is composed of. So we coded so that it can measure light intensity, pressure. Yeah, this stuff is very nerdy. Jesus Garcia is a systems engineer for the Adler Planetarium's Far Horizons project and oversees the work of the students developing ThinSat. Many of the students who gain these opportunities are not typically from under-income or minority students. In fact, here at the Adler, we have uh, students who are minorities, who have been faced with challenges of not having opportunities presented to them. And here we are presenting a mission where they are collaborating with us scientists and engineers to work on our very first mission that's going to space. When NASA's Antares rocket, built by Northrop Grumman, blasted off from the coast of Virginia on April 17th, it wasn't just making a resupply mission to the International Space Station. On board was ThinSat, the culmination of work by many at the Adler, including Fatima Guerra, who joined the Far Horizons team as a high school requirement that became so much more. The requirement can really become like a life changing opportunity and you don't even know it. It's really exciting to see that my work is gonna go up into space and help in the scientific world. It is also exciting for her parents, immigrants from Guatemala, who can proudly say their daughter helped build a satellite orbiting the earth. They are really excited, especially when I told them that it might become like a worldwide type of news and I, I'm gonna be a part of it, they were really proud and they were calling my family over there and like, oh, she might be on TV. It's something that they feel really part of me about for achieving. Long after ThinSat's work is done, Guerra will still be known as a member of a team that put the first satellite developed by a private planetarium into space. She says her friends don't think that's nerdy at all. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.